와. Let's be honest, if you've been watching the videos, it's needed a tidy. <laughs> and I needed a snack, so I decided to go for the best protein bar ever invented. Ever. So, if you ordered a Together We Will Grow tea, first off, thank you. Um, and second, your package will arrive, or sh probably should have arrived by the time you actually see this video, in a black and white package. Obviously, that's because it went through an external company. They handle packaging and everything, and they're not, not going to put my branding on it. They're going to put bears on it. So here it is. If you will receive a package through the post that looks like this, then it is your t-shirts. Feel free to get completely excited about it and send me a picture on Instagram. So I picked up an XL for myself because I wanted to have a leg day kind of version of it. Um, and as you guys know, I have been loving oversized tees and long sleeves, right? So this obviously is not a long sleeve, but it is gonna be oversized. So it is leg day today. It is good timing. And that is sick. Keeping this raw because we're the realists in the game. Come on, let's go. It's the thing. I can't. I can't hold a camera at water and the and the warp, mate. I'm not figuring out the maths for that one yet. Hang on, hang on. Okay. Not figuring out the maths, mate. You're an engineer. Not yet, technically. <laughs> hang on. No, just keeping this raw because we're the realists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just touch my tips, mate. Just touch my tips. Then we can both do it. Like that. There you go. Here you go. Oh, geez. Yeah. Oh, geez. Yeah. Oh, what? Cheers. There you go. Yeah. I'm keeping that in because it's real. Raw. Raw. <laughs> <laughs> Wait up, wait up for you. 
So Cam, are you ready? Some bangers on this playlist. We're definitely gonna get copyrighted though. So, front squats to start. Followed up, because it's leg day, hip thrusts. Every leg day I've been doing hip thrusts every single leg day. After that, you need to hit the hammies. Compound. Stiff-legged deadlifts. Oh yeah, I love yeah? Right you, you love a bit of Romanians, don't you? Yeah, 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 very, very multicultural. Yeah, yeah, Cam loves the Romanians. Next up. Oh, what's after that? The quad thing, right? Yeah. Just guessing. Should we hack squat? Let's hack squat. Let's hack squat. Yeah! Mary might be fucking killing me recently because we've been doing drop set lunges and a hilly smoke fight. Drop set lunges? Yeah, they are. Yeah, mate. They will absolutely destroy you. Drop set anything on legs yeah, will destroy you. Front squats, hip thrusts, stiff legged, hack squat, leg curl on the machine. We need to hit cars, so we'll do cars at the same time as hack squats. The Leg extensions? Yeah. Yeah, cool. And then we'll finish off with abs because we're shredded. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You got it? Did you get it? Did you get it? Of course, did Yes! Ooh. What are we reckon about the uh, Nike Air Max Vapor Pro 1s? These? Yeah, mate. These yeah. bad boys? Yeah, these bad boys. Well, yeah. see, let, let me turn this down. Turn this down for copyright. Oh, I like this. Anyway, these um, these are the new uh, brand new LSJ Feet Max. Um, they're actually Primark special. <laughs> Prim Primarni special. I had them custom made. Oh. Primarni. Yeah, and nice. um, no, long, I basically got this massive blister. Um, you know those shoes that you guys saw me buy in the last video? The Italians. Yeah. They gave me blisters, real, real bad blisters. Um, and so, I don't really want to be walking around in like, well, taller socks for one and big shoes. And so, I won't show you it because it's absolutely grim, but yeah, that's the reason for the LSJ foot maxes for the day. Shoulders, knees down, toes. It's summer! Except it's raining outside. A bit of a Bit of a chat about legs. Oh yeah, yeah. Gotta train them, even though no one likes to train them. My biggest muscle group. Come on, come on, come and tell come and tell the people. As a as a regular human being, not in the fitness industry, it is actually a fact that you do need to train legs because they are the biggest muscle group and actually they expend the most amount of calories as well, which means if you train legs then you get those six pack rock hard abs. <laughs> So they are vitally important to do. That right? Also, calves are like the best muscle as well. So, bellissimo, mate, mate, mate. Perfecto. I've got to show them before I get too much of a pump because it just disappears. It just disappears when you get a pump. Guys, it is imperative to train legs. Well, it is. Hey mate, this is my first time hip thrusting two plates. Yeah, I wonder what you'd do. <laughs> Next banger, next banger. Come on. What is it gonna be? Ah, classic, yes. Also, 
don't don't neglect the glutes, guys, as well. Bit of hip thrust in there. Yeah, need a bit of hip thrust. Well, I've been training for about three years, mm. and I'm kind of only just starting to put them in. And you've got the genetical booty. I I don't. I've got to try and genetical booty. <laughs> I think I've that's just sports, mate. mate. Just years of kind of. It's all about genetics, though, mate, isn't it? It's, it's, all, it's all about genetics. genetics. Yeah, yeah, genetics. Yeah, yeah. Big, big tip for leg leg training and stuff. Like, you know, just shrink a bit, and yeah, you're really good. That's just the like, muscles. If you, then. If you picture like a, a six-two guy. Like, well, how tall are you? Six-two. Look at the length of your quads in comparison to mine. Mine are like noodles, mate. I've got noodles. There, <laughs> like that's my quad, and then like that's Cam's quad. So if you put five pound of muscle on that, in comparison to five pounds of muscle on that, it's gonna make a big. Big difference. Cam, you know what me and the old man would say now? That's a wrap. <sighs> okay. Well, can the cameraman's gone now, so we can give some legitimate advice. Um, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that raw footage, really in the game footage, raw uncut footage of a leg day. Um, it was a fun one, to be honest, which I think is necessary every now and then. We'd spent like two and a half hours training, like literally two and a half hours. It was ridiculous. But we've done a lot of sets, a lot of reps, a lot of volume. And to be honest, I feel like I could go more but I feel like that would just impact my kind of recovery for the rest of the week. Bear in mind I do cardio on a spin bike, you know, I need to kind of reserve my, my, my quads. But I do feel good, I feel like I can keep on going. So, maybe I will next time, I don't know. Anyway, kind of what we actually jokingly said in that little clip, if you like, was to, you know, train legs. <laughs> Simple as, you know, you, you have to train legs. And granted, some people have injuries and, and this and that, but the benefits you get from training legs are absolutely ridiculous. And I, don't, I just don't understand why someone would want to miss out on that. I just don't understand it because you think about it, right? If you're training chest twice a week, you know, yeah, you're going to build a good chest. You know, you chuck some chest flies in there, a bit of isolation, combine that with some, ben you know, you can build a decent chest fairly easily with the right genetics, but anyway, you get my point. Why would you not do the same with legs? Why would you not do that? Uh, wh why, why would you do that to yourself when you end up looking like this guy and just end up freaking stacked up top and yeah, you look like a Greek god up top, but then, you know, you, you just got these, these little, little pegs holding you up sort of thing. Like, if you want to build an ultimate aesthetic, well-rounded physique, then training legs is a necessity. It's as simple as that. Number one reason is not necessarily even for aesthetics. It's for testosterone, guys. Men have more muscle mass than, than, than women on the basis that testosterone is the muscle, is the hormone, sorry, that builds muscle. Men have more testosterone than women. Simple as. And so men build more muscle, we're easier and all that kind of stuff. To cut long story short, if you don't train your legs, you are missing out on half of that testosterone release that you could possibly be getting. Like you get 10, five, I don't know the actual amount, you get a lot more testosterone released within your body from training legs than you do from training chest. Because so you think about it, you train your chest, it's here and here, and that's it. You know, you'll get some shoulders and some triceps in there, but that, in terms of mass, is nothing in comparison to the size of both legs, your calves, everything, right? Your lower body. So why would you skip it? Why the hell would you skip it? Just doesn't make sense to me. However, it does make sense because it's difficult. You know, you sweat, it, it hurts. You have to go into a different kind of place mentally to push yourself to develop your legs. It's as simple as that. And that's why a lot of people end up skipping them. But don't be that guy. Don't skip leg day, please. Because trust me, if you end up wanting to compete like I would, Imagine if I was skipping legs now and, you know, five years down the line when I come to compete I'd have this massive upper body and then my legs would just be lacking. And then I would have the upper body, like an amazing upper body, and would just lose because of my legs. And I would like to compete personally in classic bodybuilding because I feel like I'm not 
tall enough for men's physique. I, I'm fairly broad, you know, for a short guy, I'm fairly broad, right? Which kind of plays in my in my favour for classic physique, but I'm not tall enough for men's physique, and I'm also not willing to get big enough for kind of big open bodybuilding, you know, Jay Cutler and buddy Phil Heath and all that. Like, I don't want to get that big. Um, it's as simple as that. So, I think classic physique would be the route to go for me. However, um, people ask me about competing and stuff and I'm just not ready to. I'm just not ready to. When I finally compete, guys, I want it to be good. I want to deliver. I want to look really, really good. And who knows, maybe in another year, you know, I might feel like I'm ready. But right now, I look at myself and I think if I lose another 20 pounds, which would get me pretty lean, I just look like a twig and I just don't want that. I'm not ready for that. It's just not what... Um, it's just not what I want. <laughs> it's as simple as that. I, d I don't want to look like that. I would rather wait and you know have a slightly higher body fat percentage and build that muscle with the surplus and stuff like that. Obviously I'm in a deficit now but you see what I'm saying. I just don't... it would create a look that I don't want and create a look that I wouldn't be proud of. And let's be honest, if you dedicate three, four, five months of your life to something, you want it to turn out good. And I feel like if I did that right now, it wouldn't turn out good. So I'm not going to do it yet. So I would love to compete one day, just not yet. But um, anyway, I feel like I go on these, these rants when I finish legs. It's another reason why you should never skip it. Because the positive endorphins that your body releases when you, you go through a leg day think about it is going to be higher than if you just train chest or something like that because you are using more of your body it's going to work in the exact same way you see good times good vibes you know I really wasn't feeling this session before I started I really didn't want to train legs I was like right I hadn't eaten that's the thing I I kind of fasted if you like um, just thought I'd, I'd try it for a day, to be honest. And I like to train legs on a good couple of meals, you know, and I hadn't had that. And that, I let that get in my head, but then I started, and my God, it was one of the best sessions I've had in ages. And that is what training legs can do to you. And I just don't know why people would skip it. I just don't understand it. I don't get it. But anyway, that's none of my business, really. If you want to skip legs, skip legs, but would not recommend. Mm. <laughs> they smell nice, don't they? <laughs> okay, oh, that was a nice little close up. Um, excuse the eyes, people. Um, the allergies that I keep talking about is uh, flaring up. That's what happens when you live in the countryside <sighs> and sit with the freaking windows open. But anyway, I hope you have enjoyed today's raw, uncut leg day with Cam the cameraman. Um, some thoughts of competing in there as well. Um, and it is exactly what it says in the tin. Just not ready yet. Just not yet. One day though. We go and bring home the gold. So, um, as you are watching this, myself and the old man have competed in competed, taken part, marched. We have marched today for the march for men for prostate cancer. I'll put the link, our donation link, um, to raise a bit of money, raise a bit of awareness, and. Where's the sheet gone? This uh, sheet here, they kind of give you this like leaflet if you take part. And I don't know if you guys want to just like screenshot this or pause the video here or something, but depending on how much you donate and if you donate, this is where the money kind of uh, goes, if you like. So any support, any help will be appreciated. Even if you just go on there and share the page, that'd be great. Thank you. Um, and thanks for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe, all that usual YouTubers malarkey. And I will see you all in the next one.